Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at Elementary OS on the Raspberry Pi. Let's get right to it. So Elementary OS is, I think, a very nice operating system and I have it running here on the Raspberry Pi. It actually runs pretty well and let's take a look at it. So first of all, this is an older build of Elementary OS and it's actually an unofficial build on GitHub. So I will show you that in a moment. But if we go to our about right here, we can see that it is built on Ubuntu. And it's an older version of Ubuntu, so it's Bionic Beaver. And so this is version 5.1.7, so the latest is 6 something. And so this is an older version, however, it still works very well. And then obviously we're running it on a Raspberry Pi right here. So let's go over to our browser. So this comes with this browser by default. And so it's actually a GNOME browser. And so the thing is with it, it doesn't play video. That is one big downside. And then it's kind of slow as well. So yeah, it's just sitting here loading, but I installed both Chromium and Firefox. So let's take a look at that. So I'm just going to go to the Chromium web browser. So this is, you know, normally included in Raspberry Pi OS. And I'm going to show you where I get this build. So it's just GitHub. And this loads up, you know, fairly quick. It's about the same as Raspberry Pi OS, I'd say. So here is the page and we need to go to the releases. So I will link this in the description. So we just go right here and then we have our assets. And so it is this one right here that you can download. So you just flash it in the normal way. See my video on that. But once it's installed, you, you know, go through the initial setup and then you get to this. And so this is kind of an interesting thing because, you know, it's got this nice wallpaper and this UI. The icons, however, are, they look a bit outdated, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. And then also, you know, the, the overall theme, but you can also change that. So I don't think that it is very bad. You know, this, this doesn't look, you know, the newest, but let's also check out some video playback because that's the thing we often do on the Raspberry Pi. So definitely check out my channel if you are new. And this is kind of taking a while to load right here. Let's go to a video that may have more motion in it. Let's set the resolution right here. I guess we can't... Maybe we will have to use a different video, but I've actually tried this out before. And with full height definition, it doesn't really do so well. This is doing reasonable, but if you were to go any higher than that, I've already tested it out and it doesn't really work. But this is totally acceptable right here. It's dropping a few frames here and there, but it's not bad. I mean, it, it looks good as far as motion goes. It's not really dropping any frames. So video playback, as long as the resolution doesn't go too high, is good. And now let's also check out just some web browsing. So this is my website right here. And so it works, you know, reasonably well. And it's really you know, about the same as Raspberry Pi OS, I think. However, this is a full featured desktop environment, like Raspberry Pi OS is a little stripped down in areas and I think it performs very well, which is an advantage of that. But also, you know, it doesn't have some of the things that some other desktop environments have. So this also has an app center and so it's not the GNOME software center, it's not KDE Discover, but it's its own thing. So we have that right here and we can get some apps there. And then we also have like a mail app right here and some 
some other apps and then the the multitasking is a little bit different on these like the way that they want you to do it so if we go to files and so if we go to our multitasking view this is a nice view right here but there is no minimize button it's kind of an interesting way of doing things and so there are you know keyboard shortcuts and stuff so another keyboard shortcut thing is if you do windows key f and then if you drag around something it's like a split screen so say you drag around this area and even if you minimize it it still shows the same thing and so you can drag this somewhere so if you had like a separate browser window playing a video, you could play it in the corner while you do something else. And so I think that is a nice feature in this operating system. And so also we can tweak the UI a little bit. So I installed the GNOME tweak tool and some themes. And so if we go to like Arc, for example, I'll leave the cursor and then do Papyrus. Okay, so that tweaked the theme a little bit. And so then we can also tweak the dog theme as well. But for now, you know, that is our new theme. So let's check this out. If we go to files, you know, that's a different theme, I would say. And so there are many things you can do with this operating system, but I think it performs very well. And it is like a full featured operating system. And I think it might be one worth giving a try and so I I have been using this operating system, you know, just just briefly for the past like day or so and it seems you know pretty good it's one of my favorite operating systems on the raspberry pi and even though it's kind of an older version of the operating system i think it is still very good so you can also get the newer one if you sign up for early access builds so i will leave the elementary os link in the description where you can see their website but that is about it for this video. I just wanted to basically mention this operating system. Also, check out my blog. I'm going to start posting there more. And until next time, we will see you next time. Uh